Atul writes in through email, he says that he's got three acres of land. Now he wants to sell this and uh, he's got an offer from a joint venture for this, uh, for a joint venture for this. Now developers are saying that he has to pay the taxes. Uh, they will be giving him a caution deposit, of course. He wants to know what is his liability. Atul asks, uh, would it be better if he gives it for outright sale instead of getting into a joint venture? Will he have to pay taxes then as well? Uh, essentially, uh, if you are making any kind of income, there is tax that you will need to pay, right, Suresh? Yeah. So, Mr. Atul, what happens that in case obviously you sell it outright and you have been holding this land for some period, I presume it is more than three years. So, it becomes a long-term capital asset for you and you pay tax at a lower rate, which is a rate of 20%. You also get the benefit of indexation. You also have the option to reinvest in another house property and you can get exemption under section 54F or you can invest in bonds uh, up to rupees 50 lakhs. So that is one option. Now in case you feel that it is better to do the development and maybe you know the realization will be much higher. So again it depends upon in case it is not a joint development agreement. So there are two kinds of agreement. One, one kind of agreement is that you are basically giving up your right and you are getting certain units in exchange of that. In that case, you are converting your land into a, a kind of, uh, you know, what we call it stock in trade. So you are now getting into business. So there is a specific provision that when you convert a capital asset into stock in trade, whatever is the fair market value on the date of conversion will be treated as a capital gains, you know, will be subject to capital gains tax, but the taxability will get postponed when you actually sell the developed property. So when you sell the property, there will be two characters. One will be what was the increase in the land value as on the date of conversion. And the second is uh, whatever is the incremental value on top of it. So let's say, uh, you know, if you had a land, you know, for which historical cost was one crore, and the land value is 10 crores now. And uh, you then, let's say, spend another 5 crores on construction and you sell it for 20 crores. So, 9 crore what you are making initially on the date of conversion will be treated as a capital gain. And that will be subjected to tax in the year of sale of the flats and it will not be taxed right now. The remaining 5 crore what you made over and above the conversion price will be treated as a business income and that will be subjected to full tax. So in some ways there are two characters within the same income. First one is a capital gain and second one is a business income. So essentially what you need to remember is uh, more the gains, more the taxes that you will need to pay. So that is something you need to keep in mind. And of course you need to look at the quantum of gains that you can really expect before you take a call on uh, what you want to do over here. So it's not essentially the tax perspective, it's more the kind of income that you will get if you would go for a joint venture vis-a-vis -vis an outright sale. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magicbricksnow. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magicbricksnow. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.